three, there's no fucking C train today. So I took the B to the A to the C. Then I get off at 59th Street, um, cause I'm having a little stare down with some fucking hipster messenger douchebag. And, oh, oh I, I don't want to analyze that. Well, we still have a little time. Why don't you sit down? Um, can I ask a question? Uh-huh. Oh, don't let me forget my bags. Could you maybe remind me? Sure. Why don't you sit down? What if I sat over there today? That's not a chair. I know, but I just, I just feel like maybe mixing it up might be good for healing. Anyway, I saw Zoe Patrikoff in the waiting room as she was leaving. I don't discuss other patients. Oh, that's okay, but I can. Right? Because I'm not bound to your little CIA psychologist reference manual. How was the weekend with your mother? You know I know Zoe Patrikoff from Just Like the City. She went to Burley, I went to Dalton. Yeah, I know her. She's like a total fucking alcoholic. No, no, no. She's a throwing up on someone's dick alcoholic. So you should actually know that. Thank you. Thank you for that. I'll sit now. I just feel like we might have had a breakthrough with me sitting over there, but okay. Bree, I'm not going to discuss my other patients with you. Can I ask you something? Why do I feel worse every time I leave here? Do you know what happens to me every single time I leave here? I hope you don't harm yourself. No. I go to the Sweet Dreams Cafe and I get six humongous poppy seed muffins and then I eat them on a bench alone across from your office on 77th Street, just, just eating them and watching all the loser Shakespeare in the Park actors walk by me for their little tartuffe rehearsal and then they drop like dirty nickels in my Prada bag. What happened with your mother? I don't want to talk about my mother. Why are you wearing a hat? Did someone give that to you? Is it, it, are you wearing it for flag day? How was your weekend? Sucked. Now that I'm not fucking anybody, I just sat alone, unshowered in my room, like plucking ingrown hairs around, just whatever down there, watching The King and I. You watch The King and I, again? Yeah, I find the music very soothing. No, no, I think it's a, it's a good story. I mean, I saw the original with Yul Brenner on Broadway. Oh. What happened with that meeting with the nutritionists? Have you ever met a cool nutritionist? What's going on with you? Right before you buy one of your muffin treats. Why are you shaming me? I mean, that's, that's how you perceive me now. I'm just trying to break ground. This is your session, Brie. Honestly? Yes, please be honest. Honestly, if I'm not fucking anybody, why am I killing myself to stay skinny? Why do I give a shit? Because nobody's bringing over the wire or noodle salad from Republic, so I don't care if I get so fat that I have to close my eyes when I pee so I don't look down and see my big fat thighs squish together like big beige sea lions. I thought we had discussed you calling someone before you went on one of your binges. Yeah? So what happened with that? Why are you wearing a hat? Why are you so affected by my hat? I just want to go to a therapist who's, like, not trying to be cool. Be a therapist. You don't have to be cool. So my hat is interfering with your ability to feel your feelings? No, that's not it at all. Tell me. I think I might need to see a woman. Um, well, that's certainly an option that we can explore. But there will be a problem with every therapist that you see, Bree because you don't want to let someone in to really see you. Yeah, because everybody sucks big, giant, hairy ball sacks. My, my mom came to my art show. Um, she came 45 minutes late and bought four paintings from my competitor, Violet. And I know, it's Violet show, I have a corner, but I think that she's basically a pretentious, purpley whore. And I don't want you to analyze this, but I would love to just decapitate my mom and piss down her throat and just saw off her arms and write, you're a fucking bitch on the wall with her detached arm nubs. You seem really angry. 
I am angry. My mom named me after Jane Fonda and Clute. So I'm named after a dirty whore. You can always change your name. Yeah, I'm not gonna be one of those people who's like, oh yeah, call me Mrs. Running Bear. How did you feel when your mother was buying those paintings from Violet? But I do kind of like the name Tinker. Bree, I want to talk to you about something. I know. Just hold on a second. I, I, are you, you just, you flipped it. What? what? Are you, I'm, I'm not following I, you. I know, you flipped it before I walked okay. in here. You're gonna have to fill me in you here? You turned it over. You, you just flipped it. Are you, what? did you buy a new one? You know, I don't have to even be here. Are you, are you? You could just what? do the talking for the yeah, both of we're us. Yeah, done. Are you terminating me? Is that it? <sighs> are you trying to set up a scenario where you don't want me to see you? I don't care. I think you care very much. You went to Columbia and got all your degrees to tell me something that I could basically find out from Peter Rabbit. <sighs> you can be very cutting and mean. Are you asking about the cushion? I'm really sorry. I'm so sorry. I was wearing a slender regular, and you can leave, you can leave them in for like two hours, I thought, and then when I got up to leave, I, I saw the red circle on your chair, and I knew it was me, okay, and I'm Brie. really sorry, because when I went to go pee, my underwear was completely soaked through, and I'm just, I'm, I'm sorry. I discovered it after you left. I had it dry cleaned. It's not your fault. You don't think I'm disgusting? I think you're human. Well, I don't really want to be human. Well, then you can be the Tin Man every day. You can wear your little snappy hat, but don't make jokes. I want you to know, I think you're pretty terrific. <laughs> so that's time. May I offer you my fern for your office? Would you like it? No, oh, you keep it. It suits you. We'll see each other next week. <laughs> Bye, Jason. Bye, Brie.